Peace, love, and light to you, my dear Leos. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tarot, and is that a butterfly? And I'm here to give you your symbols reading for October 2020. Now, this is a general reading, so that means that some things may apply to you while other things may not. That means some things may resonate while other things may not. This very well may not be your reading. This may be the cross reference reading, or like I said, it very well just may not be your reading at all. If you're new to my channel and you like the content on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe to your crow. And then hit that notification bell. You don't have to comment, but I would like for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get those updates for whenever I upload new material on my own content on my channel. And if you're returning to me, thank you for returning. You know I love you guys so much. Ring, ring, ring. Gave you all them virtual kisses. I know you're like, eh, stop it. Get her, get her off of me. Stop it. But I have to give the love to you guys because it is... You guys who, with every all the other 12 or 13, 11 signs that continue to uh, give me the love and support. And that's why I do what I do. Okay? So, we're going to get on into this reading. Remember, it's a general reading. So, that means that this very well may not be your story. Okay? It's not a personal reading. Alrighty. So, we're going to see... How do they feel about you? It's going to be a culture cross spread. We're going to delve into different sectors to try to get down to the nitty gritty of it all. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come in slowly. Strength card in the reverse. Two of Wands. A decision needs to be made. Queen of Swords. You might be dealing with a very bitchy person. Five of Wands. Someone who has a lot of conflict with you that you feel with the Magician card is deceiving you. And you are trying to decide if you're going to end this or not with the Death card. Or if you're going to keep pursuing it with the Page of Cups. Woo! And the Magician. Oh my gosh, I don't like this all better. Strength card in reverse is saying that you lack strength. That you feel as though that this relationship is taking too long to go along. To get along. It's taking a long time to establish. Or things just aren't progressing as fast as you would like to. And you're starting to lose your patience with the situation. Or that could be them concerning you. As I said, three of wands waiting for what? What is it that you're waiting for? Crossing energy is the nine of wands. Oh my gosh, in the reverse. So you're trying to see if you should give up on the situation or not. What is the underlying energy? The seven of cups. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with. So saying that this person or you... You're trying to see if you should give up or not, or you, if you should explore your options. You're waiting for something. What is it that you're waiting on? You're waiting to see if you should give up or not. You're waiting on something. I, I don't even clarify those, that first card. I don't know. I'm tempted to clarify. I'm just going to peek, and then I'm going to keep it moving. All right, something. Who out of the deck? Nine of the cups. So, what are you waiting on? You're trying to see if this is going to be something that brings you happiness. Or they are waiting on to see if this is going to be something that brings them happiness. Or if they should give up on the situation. And if they should look at their options concerning you and them. So, it's saying that you are in a situation where you are in a non-committal situation. And this person is trying to see if this relationship is going to bring them happiness or not. Or if they should give up and walk away and explore their options. What is in the past energy for you, my dear Leos? What's the deal? Oh. Past energy is the Ace of, of Swords. The Ace of Swords in reverse. So let's talk about the Ace of Swords in reverse. It's talking about a lack of clarity, a lack of truth. Somebody may be lying, or you feel so that things aren't clear. So it's saying that there's some confusion concerning you and this person. Like you both don't know where the hell y'all want to go with this here situation. 
Okay, this is almost a situation ship. All right. So what is this person thinking concerning you? What are their crowning thoughts concerning you? Plenty of Leos. with the dealio all right it's saying that we got the can cups you could be dealing with cancer pisces or scorpio you got the two of cups cancer pisces or scorpio energy you got the two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles capricorn virgo taurus okay also you have sagittarius leo aries or aquarius gemini or libra everybody's here but you have strong water 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 okay and a little bit of earth and a little bit of wands and in minute swords so this person that you are dealing with is in their mind about you. Now, here's the concern. We're dealing with the two of pentacles and we're dealing with the seven of pentacles. So it's saying that this person is juggling. What is it that they are juggling? Two of cups and the king of cups. Now, the King of Cups could be saying that this person is hiding how they feel about you. They care a lot for you, but they're hiding it. And with the Two of Cups is saying that this person is trying to figure out how they feel concerning you, if they should invest, or they feel so that there have been time invested in a relationship with the Seven of Pentacles and that they're waiting for an outcome to come out of the situation. But with that Two of Pentacles, that can also mean that they might be juggling two people between you and them, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be. But it's saying that this person has soulmate energy, and this is what's on their mind. It could be that this person is... Mm, uh, aww, hold on. Chariot, Cancer. You're, you might be dealing with a Cancer. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Mm hmm. Hold on. All right, this is what I'm going to say. If this is how this person is feeling, and this is their chronic thoughts concerning you, if this person is trying, if this person. It's saying you got soulmate energy here, but I got this Queen of Cups in reverse. That definitely is unrequited love. There's too much water here. You're definitely dealing with a water sign. Definitely. Cancer. This is Cancer. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is Cancer. And this is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And this is um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So there's a whole lot of water on this board, but there's also uh, Earth here. So this person... Um, with the seven of pentacles, the two of pentacles, the, the, the soul, the two of cups, a choice needs to be made, possibly. King of cups, one who is hiding one's emotions, cherry cards, being trumpet, triumphant, successful, moving forward. And then the queen of cups in the reverse. So it could be that this person... There's two scenarios. This person may have more than one option. I'm not going to say necessarily so. Or this person is trying to figure out how to proceed forward with you. You do have a couple here. You have the King of Cups and you have the Queen of Cups. And that definitely is a couple. And it could be that one feels this person could possibly be thinking, now you know, I'm going to take away the third. Like, I don't see third party. I'm not going to deal with third party energy. I'm just going to say it like this. That this person may see that you feel more for them than they feel for you. Because when a Queen of Cups comes in the reverse, she tends to mean unrequited love. Meaning that she doesn't feel the same way for you as you feel for them. And they see that you want to take the relationship to the next level. 
but they don't know if it is that they want to invest in this or not or there's something that's going on in this person's mind and with the two of cups it's saying that's soulmate energy that's uh somebody who's going to help you to go forward somebody who cares a lot for you it's like if this is how they know you feel about them they know that you care a whole hell of a lot if not just fully flat out love them and you may contain your emotions concerning them but it's saying that that this person is trying to decide if they want to move forward or not there's some unrequited love here and what there's too much water here you're dealing with the water sign most likely but you don't have to be okay it's just saying that the situation is trying to decide if one should go forward and be committed or if one should just further try to restrain themselves the person you're dealing with seems to have a hard time expressing their emotion and um this i mean they could be a soulmate of yours or you let's see sorry first Oh my, okay, I don't know what to tell you. I don't like this, I don't like this reading. I want out of this reading. What is it this person fears concerning you? Five of Wands, competition and conflict. That you have more than one option. This person feels as though they... Oh, ah! Got you. Bam. Let's go back up here. So this person doesn't know if you're truly in it to win it, if you're truly committed to them. And because of that, they keep their emotions hidden and they may be keeping their options open because they feel as though that you may be keeping your options open. And it's that they want to move forward and they want to be victorious. They would like a relationship with you, but they are being guarded and they're holding back their emotions. And it also could mean that um, they're juggling between you and somebody else. Or they think that you are juggling with them, that you're offering your love to somebody else. How others see you, nine of cups. The both of you, nine of cups. So that's wish fulfillment. That's saying that somebody might have the potential to be wish fulfillment for you or the other way around. Yeah. Page of cups in the reverse, or page of pentacles in reverse. You're dealing with somebody who's immature, that doesn't know what they want. That's what it is. They don't know which direction they want their life to go in. You're looking for wish fulfillment, and this person is confused. It looks like you're both confused. That not, I'm just going to say you're both confused that you guys don't know what you want. And it could be that... There, I keep just, just emotional blockage. Okay. Why? Why would that be? I'm going to be honest with you. Well, yeah, I don't want to. I don't know what's wrong with this person just too much you're definitely dealing with a water sign just too much water here or an earth sign or fire sign but what I'm saying here is that somebody <sighs> this person does not love you at the same time this person is like or I mean it's in the wish what they wish for I don't know what it, it I'll say that they, they, they do not love you or maybe it is that they feel as though that you're that queen of cups in the reverse I'm getting the sense that this person feels as though
they want you to continue with with this eight of pentacles they want you to continue trying to put the effort in fixing this relationship i don't think that this person loves you they want this to turn into love like they may care about you damn i don't like this they may care about you but they're not I don't know. I, I'm going to say like, damn, the, the best way I can say it is, is that they're holding on to the connection, but it's saying that to me that I don't, I, if you could, I think that this person is in the relationship for more so of a material thing and not I know you like spit it out butterfly spit the shit out I think that this person they're here in this relationship for a certain type of thing that serves them I believe that you have a person who is broken on your hands you have a broken self-centered selfish jealous manipulative whatever individual on your hands and this person does not know what a healthy relationship is like and it's like they're waiting on you to teach them love oh I just said it why am I saying that because Four of Pentacles are in verse is, is letting go of control issues. Eight of Pentacles is, is allowing someone to work with you. The Ace of Cups in reverse is that unrequited love that already showed up with the Queen of Wands. But it's saying that this person is trying to release control issues when it concerns love. And with the Eight of Cups in reverse, it's because this person is still here in this energy with you they're not ready to walk away from this energy it's just that unfortunately you have been given the task to teach this person how to love this person does not know what love is this person is not used to love they don't know what love is okay i know this reading is all over the place it's a general reading but follow me follow me follow me now okay so what's going to be outcome this person wants you to teach them. They don't, this person is emotionally bankrupt. They're just not a happy person. And they're waiting for you to prove them wrong. Do you have the energy to do that, my dear Leos? Ace of Wands in reverse, the Strength card in reverse. Seven of Swords and the Judgment and one more. Four of Wands. This is over. No, no, no. Or I said this is over. No, I'm not going to necessarily say that. I, I want to, but I'll give you two sides to the same coin. Ace of Wands in reverse, strength in reverse, a lack of passion. No longer wanting to put the energy or effort into a situation. Why? Because of the Seven of Wands or Seven of Swords. That something has come out that had been found out with the judgment card. You had to make a judgment. Four of Wands. Four of Cups. This person is still in a uh, situation. The outcome is going to be that. Somebody's still in a situation. You have somebody who is a broken person. Who's still holding on to the past. Mm -mm. Let me go. Maybe it is that you were supposed to come into this person's life for it to serve a purpose. It's telling you that you need to speak up. You're keeping in a lot of things. Your heart chakra, oh not your heart, your throat chakra is closed.
though you feel as though that you have a, a soul situation with this person, you're going to choose to go your own way. Okay. Solar plexus in reverse. And the human begins moving on. Yeah. Clarity and belief in reverse. And coming together in reverse. Yeah. You guys are not going to make it. If you had whoever this love interest that you had in mind. Things are going to come out because this person wants you to fix them. They want you to fix them and they have unrealistic expectations when it comes to love. And some things may come to light concerning this person. But it's saying that um, this person wants you to fix them. And I don't think you're able to do that because nobody should be given the task to fix another human being. This person should be on their own human journey and they should not get into a relationship until they are ready to be in one fully committed and not waiting for somebody to come in to work miracles towards them or on them. So that is my reading for you, my dear Leos. Thank you for joining me. Um, if this is your reading, thumbs up. I mean, if it's not your reading, leave it alone. You ain't got to claim it, you know. That's what I'm saying to you. But um, I went out for this reading. <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe to your girl. Hit that notification bell so you get those updates. And I'll see you all in the next reading. As always, say peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me. Peace and so much love. Alright, goodbye-bye.